the final, final screwed up demo. Um, I've been recording a bunch of demos lately that I tried to run on stream and maybe I played some of them uh, a, a bit of it before they kind of started getting a little bit janky. Um, some CPU issues or and, and internet issues, it's all been kind of a mess lately. Um, some of the streams have been a little bit dodgy. This one, however, I think this one was the game that I've probably played most of before it started to mess up. So we played through the entire first level and which took us a while because we were trying to do it fast and now uh, we were like restarting and doing it again, restarting. Um, so I actually played it for a fair amount of time and then the second level for some reason it started chugging along on the stream. So I said, let's cut this, I'll come back to it. Um, and so this is me coming back to it. I don't want to continue. I want to make a new story, yes. Let's just jump in. I'll tell you what, what I said about it after the story goes on. Right. We play with controller because it's not a twin stick. It is a twin stick. It is a twin stick. But it's like a... Um, it's more like Hotline Miami, so we want accuracy. How do you sneak up on people? I think you press F. So we had an, an, an ability was on Q. Left, right, that was shoot. Right reloads. Thumb, mouse, button one and two, that's it. Yeah, 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 thumb, mouse, button two, because I put it on this one. E allows me to pick stuff up, not F. Spacebar, dodge, slow motion, shift, right mouse button. All right, getting the hang of it. So yeah, some the booty. Uh, this was funny because it says uh, I was saying it's HOP3, but there's only one game I know with a button like that. That's that's PNO3 on the GameCube. Look that up. Look that game up. It was actually a great game, but it was like. They really went all out on, on that character's butt. Uh, stealth Cloak, passive, move faster when using slow motion, rapid attack while moving, no cooldown. So I remember I remember how the level goes, so we should be able to do this one pretty easily. If I'm not mistaken, what I did was I would instantly die. Um, I would walk into there and instantly die. That was it, that was correct, yeah. We stab that guy. We stab that guy. We go invisible. Stab that guy. Shoot you. We get an orange card. We go in here. We shoot that guy. We shoot that guy. We shoot that guy. <laughs> yeah, this is going well. We'll uh, we'll take that gun. We'll shoot up. All right. Oh, I actually missed a guy as well. Oh, I killed a civilian. You know, let's try it again. Because I, I did... Uh... Oh, that was an annoying thing. Yeah, that was one of the annoyances that I had. You can't just restart. You've got to... You've got to let somebody kill you, which is... Uh... Nonsense. Yeah, it was in down here. There's a guy in a toilet. Let me kill us. There you go. So, R to restart. Oh, can we just press R to... No, R is reload, so we can't press R to restart. So yeah, I was saying, this is clearly uh, not a Hotline Miami clone. I don't want to call things a clone. What I want to say is that it's, um, you know, it obviously takes a lot of inspiration from Hotline Miami, right? We've got the top-down, fast-paced, brutal, murdering, you even, oh, I didn't pick up the orange key. This is what I mean, I want to restart because I want to get a good score, but I don't know why it doesn't have restart. Games like this are all about speedrunning. Just shoot me, shoot me dead. Yeah, that, that, that kind of, that, that's a big miss. Already that's a huge miss to me, like, that's a huge miss. That, of like, misunderstanding your, your user base, right? Your player base. Personally, I think that's, that's like, massive. Um, yeah, because games like this are meant to be. 
you're trying to be as fast as you can and you know get as many points as you can with your combo and stuff not having a quick restart seems just completely backwards give me that gun uh yeah oh so now here as well that guy instantly 180 spun around and, and gave us like there's there's nothing we could have done in that situation that was just here he hit us right what do we do about that uh, the answer is nothing you just you just take the hit and you try again and hope that excuse me okay excellent yeah we spent so long i i i, I thought i would i still think i was close enough to hit that guy but okay um yeah so another main problem is the game is too zoomed in i said this a hundred times um during the last oh yeah it doesn't work that's weird um I said this a hundred times when I was playing it on stream. I'm like, why is the game so zoom? Look at that. Just peek around the corner and just insta-kill you. <sighs> Man. Um. Got invisible going here. Even though you're invisible, uh, they still know exactly where you are because you killed somebody, even if you move out of position. See, I open that door and that guy spins, instantly shoots us perfectly through the opening in the door. There's just, that's ridiculous, right? Like, that, that, that's silly. Obviously, that's silly. Everybody would know that's silly. Um, but, too zoomed in. I'm gonna die here. Yeah. The invisibility doesn't last that long. Um, it's too zoomed in. What, what I've said that already for like 50 times in this video and I haven't explained myself. What do I mean by it's too zoomed in? I mean, I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Basically, uh, like in here, these guys are just yellow dots. I don't know who has a gun, who doesn't have a gun. Sometimes, I don't even know if there's, if there's anything prevent, you know, like blocking them from from being sh you know me sh from shooting them right right we're done i don't know if they've got any cover that they're hiding behind i i don't know the layout of the level but it wants me to already know so it wants me to run around this level instantly know where everybody is right react that and, and hope that they don't react fast enough to just insta kill us from across the room obviously i made that one look a lot easier because I'd already done it and I knew the layout of the level. When you were, when I was learning the layout of a level, we're going to see it in this next level now. When you're learning the layout of a level, it's just a death trap. You just get killed. And there's really nothing you can do about it because you don't know the level. And it's it's too zoomed in for you to be able to see really what's going on, you know, everywhere. Interact. Knew what Faceless was looking for. I didn't find it. Oh, they were not trying to give answers. Like, I like the shooting, I like the abilities, I like I like the feeling of it. It's just got some really weird stuff that kind of kills it. Um, his, his dead eye once triggered, select enemies to execute after a brief delay. Um, one use per level, slow motion for a longer time, a forward slash has a cooldown. Okay. Yeah, this one's like a big, like, stick. Sticks in you, it's like a big uh, dash forward. Damn. Uh, excellent. I'm... Excellent. I died before the level began. You see what I mean? Just weird stuff like that. Like, okay. All right. Yeah, it's like a big dash, slash dash. Oh, excellent. I have no ammo. Yeah. See, I can't even fucking see that guy. You can see me around. You know, off screen, essentially. Look at this. I can't. All you are to me is a red circle. You're just a red circle. That's so silly. It's so silly. I think very obviously, just look at, um, I don't know why you're not dead. Very obviously, just look at Hotline Miami. It's, it's, Hotline Miami is, has gone down as a classic, as, a, you know, a 10 out of 10 game for a reason. You know, not only is it like one of a kind, it's, incredibly well designed that's why it got so popular i don't know how why i'm dead oh i can hit 
Excellent. Once again, shot off screen by a red circle. Enemies in this game are just red circles. That's all That's all they are because you're never going to see them. He has a gun behind that shield. Okay. See what I mean? I just, I don't know. I'm not, I can't be a fan of this. Because it, it, it just, I can't play it. You know what I mean? Like, I really like the idea. I love Hotline Miami. I think it's a great game. I have no ammo. Can I get you with that? Excellent. Um, this guy's red, which means he's noise. Oh, excellent. So a yellow guy off the side there to the left. You see what I mean? Like, there's just, we have no control over what's going on. I very much dislike that. Like, there's really very little we can do. We don't know what they're doing because we can't see them. We don't know what cover they may have, may not have. I, uh, the only thing we know is if they're red or yellow. And that really doesn't even seem to matter. They shoot us when they're yellow. They shoot us when they're red. Around the corner. As soon as I stepped around the corner, I'm dead again. You see what I mean? Like, even the slow mo Now, which I should maybe be using more often. It's... Oh, my God. Well, it doesn't have that much, does it? If the enemy is... Oh, my God. How are you not dead? Excellent. Um, I slashed right through that guy. Killed him all the other times. But not this time. Okay. I don't... I don't know why he's not dead. I slashed through them again. I haven't changed my strategy. They just... I don't know. It just doesn't always work. This guy's red. How did you not die? It killed him all the other times. I don't know what to tell you. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I'm very... <laughs> I'm very mixed on this one. It's awkward because I really want to like it. It has like some cool stuff going, but it just has basic game design problems, I think. You know what I mean? Like there's just, the information's not there. I don't know what the what the, the, other, the enemies are doing. I don't know what they think of me or where they are. I don't know what this red guy, you know, everything's just a, I'm just shooting off screen red circles. That's all this game is, shooting red circles at the corner of your vision. That's not, it can't be like that, man. It, how are you alive? How are you alive? I killed you. Right, over here. Who's your... Right, that guy can see me for some reason. That guy can see me for some reason. I can't tell when he can see me because he's just a yellow circle to me. And so I don't... I can't tell distance. I can't see if he's behind cover. I can't... I can't anything. I have no information to go off of. The thing with Hotline Miami is it gives the player basically perfect information. And then it makes the enemies you know, aggressive. And it says, okay, see what you can do here. You know what I mean? Try and do this as fast as you can. Try to mix it up with different weapons. Try to do all sorts of stuff. Then they're going to throw in more complex enemies. Here? All we've got... I'm just waiting for you. We've barely got any information. All we can see is what's directly in front of us. I very much hate that enemies block <laughs> blocking shots for other enemies. Okay. How is that guy not dead? How is he not dead? I slashed him and I watched him drop. I'm, I'm, you're kidding me. Uh, yeah, I just, I really want to like it, but I just, I don't. Know. I think that's that's fair. 
I don't think that's wrong to say. I, I think there's very clearly game design problems here. I don't think it's like, I don't think it's like, oh, just me point, you know, I'm the only one to see this. I think everybody would notice this. As soon as you were playing, you'd be like, what the hell? I don't, why, why are all these enemies? Why do they all know where I am instantly? You know, like in a stealth game where one enemy sees you and then every enemy in the game knows where you are for no reason. This game feels like that kind of all the time. Look at that, I, I, you weren't even, you're not even on my screen as a circle. I don't know what to tell you man, I'm just fighting off screen, with off screen enemies here. It, it doesn't, <laughs> right, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I kind of hate this, uh, just, just because it's, you know, it's more annoying than the game that's broken. Because it's a game that's close to being really fun and then has some problems. That's that, I find that more annoying because it's like, damn, you know, it could have, it's, it's almost there. And just one little silly thing, you know, messing it up. That's what I feel like. Or a couple of little silly things messing it up, you know, it's like right on the verge. I don't know why this time you knew. Okay. I don't know why this time you just came at me. Okay. I don't know what's going on, man. Sometimes it lets me shoot as soon as I've dashed. Sometimes it doesn't. There we go. And then sometimes that guy will just instantly alert and, and give you from across the map. Out, from out, outside of the screen. I mean, come on. You think that's reasonable? It's kind of just... It's just frustrating because I have no control. And yeah, maybe I could just play like really slow and like dip around corners and stuff and always be using slow motion. Is that really what they wanted from this game though? Is that what this game's supposed to be? Just hold slow motion and, and you know, take little pot shots here and there around corners. Cause that's, that's, well that's a, that's a, a less fun game, you know? Wow, excellent. We got him. Let's just take it slow and do it the, the less fun way. Maybe it's the winning way though. I don't know where you are, bro. I don't know how how I'm supposed to hit. I can't fucking see you. You're a red circle, dude. Why even model the enemies? Just make every, just make them red circles. You've gone to all this effort to model enemies, and I never get to see them. It's pointless. It's so sad. Fucking serious. You're, you're insane. You're mad. You're mad. You almost, you almost did me with some stupid then. Almost got it again. Right, where's this? Got you for some reason. Can I get you? I can. I can get you. Yeah, let's just. Shoot the circles off screen. Oh. Excellent. Yeah, that'll do it. Just cover the bullet cover the screen in, in shotgun bullets. I understand. I'm just trying to make a shot. Like I'm just trying to make a shot on someone. I can't believe it didn't hit anybody, but yeah, that makes if if I was if I were you I'd have done the same. Just shotgun and cover the entire area that I had to dodge around. Brilliant. Yeah. So close, man. So close. It's annoying. Excuse me? How are you not dead, sir? Excuse me? I don't have a gun. What the fuck? That guy has a dash attack as well now? Well, that's new. As of the 15 seconds ago. Need this gun, because we need the bullets, basically. You're unbelievable. You, if you think that that's like, makes sense, that's a reasonable thing to do. Just, and now this guy's shooting me as well, randomly. Sometimes they'll just, look, they'll just, 
aggro way too early. It makes no sense. It's, there's no consistency. Oh god, it's so frustrating. I can't even get you because the reload takes a fucking hundred years. How are you alive? I just slashed you! I slashed right through the middle of you, dude. Oh my god, you know what? I don't know if I can take much more of this. This is so annoying. It, I just shot you. I just shot you. Why does it work sometimes? shot you. I don't know what else. I shot you. I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know what I've done any, any time, ever, any different. I mean, I missed you then, for sure. Is this guy not dead? I feel like he's not dead. He did die. How? Oh, almost. You know the worst thing is I'm sure there were like stealth mechanics in this game. It was like telling me I had stealth mechanics and stuff. Are you a bad guy? No. Oh yeah, I have the Q attack. I forgot about that. No, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why you did it. Alright. The ba basically, all you're doing is every time you shoot, you're fighting someone, you're flipping a coin at this point. Is he just going to insta-give me? Is it going to allow me to shoot? Is it going to get me off screen? Is he going to die when I shoot him? How? 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 I shot you in slow-mo. I, I feel like everybody else is a protagonist and I'm a shitty NPC. They all know where I am. They, they have like future sight and they can see through walls. I hate you. I hate you so much. It was the only way to kill that guy. So I dashed across to the side and then I died because of it. How are you? Why are you not dead? This, this, this is bad. This is bad. All right, who wants to uh, insta-give me now? Yeah, obviously you. I got you. Can I hit you without anything? I don't have any slow-mo. And I, 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 I'm pretty sure I hit him twice, but I guess not. How is somebody still alive? You shoot him clean in the butt quickly. Dude, I'm, I'm slow mowing. I'm tapping the dash button. I think the problem is not that the... I think it just doesn't work. I think there are parts of the, the game that are simply broken. So I don't know if we rate... You know, I don't, this is kind of what I was saying from the first level and then when I was playing the second level I didn't get to play it too many times before um, I didn't get to play it too many times before I realized it was like slowing down 
my computer and not streaming correctly. Excellent. Love it. Love it when it does that. And then instantly somebody starts shooting you from off screen whilst you're dealing with those guys. That's my favourite part. How did that not get it? Bro. Also, this guy's ability is garbage, because I tried to do it then, but it doesn't work on people off screen. <laughs> There's nobody ever on screen. This is the only place it would make sense. And all the bullets hit the first guy. It doesn't even go through him. This, it just doesn't work, bro. Nothing in the game works. You no, know? it's so sad, because it's like close to something really cool but jesus christ it's like it just hates the player you know devil daggers you know how hard devil daggers is but you know what it's so fun to play and instantly replayable even when you get the shit kicked out of you over and over and over again because it's fun to try and get better this game doesn't feel like you're improving feels like the only way you're gonna win is if you just Play the most boring way possible and also get really lucky. I can't shoot over those boxes, they can. Okay, I get it. That's fine. That's fine. You know what game you should just play um, uh, instead of this? Cybell. Cybell was so good. Cybell is so good. Um, the problem with it is it's a, there's, I don't even know if it's going to get made anymore. The demo has a bunch of levels, of like 12 levels, and it's, they're all so good. Um, but it had a Kickstarter and it failed. Which is just disgusting because the game was awesome. I've seen so many shit kick games get kickstarted. Um, but it was a top top down shooter. You know, like this. It had some slow mo. It had like it didn't have slow mo. It had you could rewind time a little bit. So if you messed up, you can kind of go back. But you also had like different weapons and stuff as well. You couldn't pick up. Um, it was, it was like, it was really fun for speedrunning as well. I, I, I'm pretty good at speedrunning in that game. I, I got some world highs for sure. Thanks off-screen enemy for helping me kill these guys because you're so ridiculous that you actually <laughs> start shooting at me before at anything really before. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> You know, normally when games are kind of annoyingly difficult, it's, well, this game's not difficult, it's just annoying. But um, when games are, are difficult and I kind of want to, and I want to say like, I think the design's not very good. What I try, I always make sure I try to beat the game as well. To sh Cause I want to show like, no, I can do it. I can beat hard games. It's not that it's hard. It's that it's, it's the, you know, it's broken or the design's awkward or things like that. I want to make sure that people can't just be like, lol, get good. Because um, I think I am pretty good at games. I mean, I've been playing them all my life. I've been playing games 30 years. And, uh, and I like all sorts of games. And I really like challenging action games. It's my favorite, favorite thing. I always play games, FPS games and action games on hard anyway. I, I like it. I like the brutality. I like playing Doom Eternal on the hardest setting. I find that fun. I know it's, it might be masochistic. I find it a lot of fun. I want to make sure that what you're seeing here is not me being bad at games, but the game being bad at being a game. <laughs> if that makes sense.
Just shooting yellow and red circles. Look, a bullet just comes in off screen. What are you supposed to do about that? You know what? Absolutely fucking nothing. There's nothing you can do about that. You just gotta get... It's not about getting good. It's about getting lucky as hell. Get lucky, that's what it should be called. And now, all of a sudden, we're gonna go through a couple of runs where that guy's gonna shoot me. Or even though he just... You know, he wasn't doing that before. Now he's deciding... They decided to change it up a little bit, which is nice. Very nice shot, got lucky there. Done, done with the Oh, you fucking thing. You fucking game. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, this is. I mean, comparing this to Hot Mile in Miami is. is I mean, it's pretty. Cruel to hot. Hotline Miami is literally one of the best games ever made. So I mean, even being in the same sentence as it is, is pretty excellent. Like um, praise, pretty excellent praise. That I'm not exactly sure this design is worthy of. Like I said, it looks nice. The character controls nice enough. It's just. And I know it's a demo as well. Maybe I'm hoping that it's, you know, it's in this state because it is a demo. I hope so. I hope so. Because I, and I, I just hope that they're kind of aware of these issues and this isn't, you know, what they intended. This wasn't intended. Design, I'm, do I'm dodging, I'm tapping dodge, I'm tapping it. What's the point of slow motion if I'm just as slow as people? I'm tapping the dodge button. Oh, you know, slow motion, is, it doesn't do anything in this game, it doesn't, it's pointless. Right, we got really lucky. No, we didn't. He's not dead. He is! He is? He's not? He is? He's... Eh? Is he dead or not? What the fuck? I, I guess and... Yes and no. He came back to life, I think was the answer. I shot him, he went down, and then he was very clearly still a red circle. I, I, and it very much confused me, because I got shot from the other guy whilst I was focusing on reshooting him. Shot me over the bin. I can't do that. The bullet hits the bin. Well, lucky, he would... He was grabbing his, uh... Can I do this now? Does this make sense now, slow-mo? No, not really. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Oh, great. I just want to beat it again. I don't, I don't want to mess around. Like, I, I can't be bothered. This, this, I'm not a fan. I just want to end the level. Does it tell you how many enemies are left? I think I saw a circle over here, which I'm worried about because it could just shoot me from. Steal the car to escape. Okay, I pressed E on the car. Also, right, I also brought this up. Deaths, yes, means nothing. What do you want me to do? There's no checkpoints. What do you want me to do? Every time I die, turn the game off and on again, or quit the entire level and then go back into it? Just so I can say death's no, because I did it on my first try. Every try is your first try. Well, it doesn't make sense. Deaths makes no sense as as a counter here, as a as a as a flag, Boolean flag. This is this makes no sense. This means nothing. Adrenaline shot used, I don't know what that means. Skills used, no. Um, maybe this means slow down, and this means skill in which case that also does nothing. Um, skills used. No, well, this kill didn't really work with this guy since he just shot the first guy in front of him every time anyway. 
Right. Lock the door. Okay. Connect to S. Oh yeah, this game's called S Prox, S Prox or something. Looks really nice. Seems really cool. It's just ah, oh, there's some issues that just aggravate me. Just the AI is just way too aware of what's going on. They're just completely omnipotent is the problem. They're, they're, they, you know, they see and hear everything. They know exactly where you are, and they have perfect aim base. It's like insane. What is this? This looks awesome. Whoa, what is this? Alright, we've got another level. This guy's face is great. Uh, the, we are the faceless. A brief immunity from damage when used per level. That's gonna be great. Has no movement penalty for wearing heavy weapons. Smash the ground and kill everyone around. Has a cooldown. Three weeks ago. Find a way into where. I can't even, like, look around a map. You know what I mean? What are you talking about? I can't see shit. Too zoomed in. This game told you at the beginning that it has a stealth element. Is there a way to sneak? I can't remember. Aim down sights. I thought there was a way to, like, sneak, but I guess not. Great shot through there. Amazing shot. Superhuman shot. Oh my god, I'm garbage. Where were you? I can't see shit. Too zoomed in. That's that's problem numero uno, obviously. I can't see anything. It's so zoomed in. You know what? Let me try, like, mess with the resolution. I'd, I'd maybe... Maybe. Toggle zoom? Toggle zoom? Can I turn zoom? What do you mean? Can I zoom out? No, I guess not. It was a lot. <laughs> Toggle zoom. Damn. I thought we'd... we'd... <gasps> right click does let us see a little bit more. It's... But it's still not... I mean, let's just see a little bit more. Yeah. That's actually good, though. That's aim down sights. That is aim down sights. Ah, toggle zoom. So maybe if I tap it, it's always like that. It should just always be like this. Are you kidding me? It should always be like this. You're joking. This has been an option from the start. How is this not the way it should always be? Why is there even an option to change it from this? And why can that guy... Why did that guy know where I was? Oh, it's window. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to see that thing. It's a top-down game. You know it does in... You know it does in... Uh, in Hotline Miami, it just makes those sections like blue. So you know even from wherever. Oh my god, the shot the last thing. Yeah, let's take this. Well, this is actually working out. This is a lot better now. But that, yeah, I'm, I, I, I have no idea why this isn't just always like this, to be honest. I used my special ability. So I wouldn't take damage, so I could like kill this guy, but he also seems to be invincible, so... So this isn't working out. Now he's dead. Now he's another guy. 
Uh, okay. This is so much better. You know what? Take it back. Take a lot of it back. Take a lot of it back. This should be the way it is, though. Like, I have no idea why you would do this backwards. That it honestly makes zero sense to me. It should always be like this. There is no, no benefit to having it like this. It just is bad. It just doesn't work like that. Um, but yeah, no, this is great. This is working now. I mean, still some design issues. I couldn't tell that that was glass right away. But now I know it's glass, I can take advantage of it. Sweet. Yeah, no, this is so much better. I'm still gonna do the thing. I'm just go in on this guy. Nice. Warmonger. Love it. Hey, it kind of like showed me the enemy through the wall then for a second, which I really appreciated because I was just going to be like, how am I supposed to know once again? But it actually kind of had this like red light kind of thing. It like red outline of the enemy because it were inside. That were really good. You know, I tackle, I, I've been complaining for like an hour, 30 minutes. This is so, so, so much. I mean, don't, I, I can't see it now, so that's fine. This is so, 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 so much better. Than, it's it's not even the same game. It honestly isn't even the same game. This is brand new. Still feels a lot like Cybo, though. Cybo was, like, very minimalistic as well. Oh! Oh, there's someone behind me. Oh my god, I'm bad. I made some really shit, like, shots then that were entirely on me. Zoom out. Stop me messing around. I tried to melee, but I think I used the wrong button. <laughs> got me, got me. Just zoom out. Don't even ever zoom in. Just never zoom in. Lunatics. Killed his friend. Again, they like doing that a lot. There's a guy here. Couple of guys here. Oh shit! It just blasted me with a shot. Here. Damn. Got you. Oh, where'd you come from, boy? Ah, oh, missed again. You've really got to make these shots. He shot me over the top of the red thing. I can't shoot over the top of the red thing. Neither can the enemies. Come on now. Stop hitting me from off screen again. I was just compl I was just saying this is a different game after it stopped doing that nonsense. And now you're doing it again? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't be doing that. Yep, yeah, that's what happens when I shoot the red thing, so why why did he get to shoot me directly? Okay. I just wanted to prove it, I just wanted to prove it. Like when I shoot the red thing, it explodes. When he shoots it, it goes over the top and he hits me. Um, but we need to be on equal point.
Don't miss. Ah, sorry. I've missed all my bullets. Bastard. There we go. Oh, it's a fucking wall. I can't tell when it's um, a wall or a glass a lot of the time, so... There we go. That works. I, I, well, once I pressed the wrong button again. But, uh... Can we get across here and not die? I'm scared. Okay. That was the end! S! You see? Now that we're playing properly, we can play properly. I'm so much happier about this now. So much happier about this. I'm so sorry to have complained so much. But why even have this in the game? It's clearly meant to be like this. It's clearly meant to be like this. An attractive way to deceive those who craved even more. What's flesh? Gratis a facade for a twist experiment that costs them daily. New purpose. I'm, I'm talking to people through a billboard. This is very, very clearly trying. Look at that. That's that's just trying to be hotline Miami. It'd be nice. Maybe they should try to, you know, distance himself. I didn't know if he were a bad guy. No, it looked like everybody else. Um, maybe you should try and distance yourself a little bit, you know? I mean, it doesn't have to be hotline Miami. You don't need to try and do, like, the same narrative and stuff. Like, you can have, have a bit of fun with it, man. you got a cyberpunk world. You can do all sorts. like a robot. I, I can't. Interact with surgical bed. What? I, I, okay. Is this a button? Can this guy come in here? Can I, can I, like, go through here? Right, okay, so it wants me to go through the glass. Once again, though, I can't really see the glass. It's kind of hard to see. Just look, look at um, Hotline Miami, man. I know, I mean, you're already using it a lot for the story and stuff. And the style of the game, but look at the design of it. See how simple it is? See how obvious everything in the room is? I know you want this game to be grittier and it has like this, you know, it's duller colours and stuff. And Hotline Miami is very colourful and bright. But that colour is like, it's obviously for the game's benefit as well. Like it makes everything very obvious. Slow-mo really does do nothing. Just put, it puts you both in slow-mo, so it's, it's kind of pointless. I thought, you know what I mean, it might favour me a little bit, so I could, like, do stuff, but... Yeah. I think I was zoomed in again as well. Random shotty blasts are not in my favor. They're just completely missing that guy, even though he's massive. Get him, get him. I'm having a lot of fun with this now. I just, I can't believe that. I can't believe that the, all this time it could have been this. That's my main complaint, which is you can't read what's going on. Everything's off screen. Are you kidding me? Come on now. You've got to be kidding me, man. You, he's got to get the shot, please. Just once, once have a random bullet in my favor. That would be fucking awesome. I'm so unlucky. Holy shit, I guess. 
When you like pick up a gun and stuff, it, it makes you, you, you're on a cooldown. You can't shoot with that gun for a second. Once again, Hotline Miami, I'm gonna keep comparing it because it wants to be that game. It's so fast. As soon as you pick up a gun, you're in control. You know what I mean? Wait, I'm this guy again. I thought I was the, oh, I'm the dash guy. I thought we were faceless still. The benefit of picking up a gun in Hotline Miami is because you don't need to reload. What? Got them both, that worked out. Okay. Excuse me? Excuse me? Ah! I fucked it up again. One shot. I had one shot. Shot myself in the goddamn foot. Alright, yeah, dash me right into the fucking death. I thought I dashed across and got that guy. So that the reason that guy is going electrocute and going funny is because he, he takes two shots to kill him, I'm pretty sure. That's what he was doing. Um, but that's 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 why it's kind of it's kind of awkward. right. So we're gonna go in with this instead. Yeah, because he can do that, and because it takes two shots to kill him, we're kind of at a massive disadvantage there. That's uh, that's gonna be an issue. That's gonna be a real issue. I don't know what we can do about that. Well, the reason we didn't hit that guy was for so long is because... Is because, um... I was shooting, like... When you shoot a guy, the body is dropping to the floor. Their body drops to the floor. Excuse me? Um, the body drops to the floor, and whilst it's doing that... Sorry, civilian. I just don't. Why? Why is it? Why is my gun not shooting? Um, it's because when the bodies are dropping to the floor, it, it means uh, you can shoot them still. So if they're in your way, it just com it, you just keep hitting them. Uh, yeah, there is there are still some issues. I do feel like sometimes I shoot and and nothing happens, or I can't really tell what happened to the bullet because I'm pretty sure I'm you know shooting at them correctly. But once again, that's that's something that's solved by Hotline Miami's minimalistic design. It's very easy to see what's going on. In here, because it's so gritty and, and kind of darker, I can't always tell. Ah, oh, we're good. Nice one. Um, I can't always tell. But also, yeah, shooting the body as it goes down to the floor is, is a massive nuisance. That's really awkward. What the fuck? I just reloaded. Super weird, man. I'm telling you. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, dude. I, you're right there. You're right in my fucking way. I'm stuck. Oh no. I think it might open that door over there. So this guy's. Yeah, you suck. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you're annoying. I'm not. Are you a human? Are you a normal guy? Not a human, but. Well, maybe a human, yeah, because these guys are like fucking robots or something. That didn't hit me. Fucking hell, it did. God damn, that was right at the end. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a lot more fun with this now. A lot 
A lot more fun. This is this is great. Like I say, it has some finicky, weird little things for sure, but it's uh, it's fun. How the hell? We got two of them. Oh. That killed him? Oh, praise the Lord. That was awesome. I absolutely should have gotten out. I'm talking about. Uh oh. What? Ah, oh, it's doing the Hotline Miami thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, be your own game. You don't need to do this, dude. You don't need to do this. Be your own thing. Be your own thing. Um, but yeah, no, I apologize. I apologize. I was complaining about something. That was, it was a problem. It is a problem. But it's, it's a problem that there actually is something in the game to help with. Um, just make that the normal mode, though. Just please make that the normal mode. Um, yeah, I, I just can't believe it. Like, it's night and day. It's, co it's completely different. It becomes a different game. I don't know why you would ever need the zoomed in, <clears throat> the zoomed in mode. It's awful. Um, the zoomed out mode is definitely how it should be. It's funny. I mean, I, I think it stands, right, that I was complaining about a, a game design issue and how to solve it. And you need to zoom out so I can see more. And then that's what the game had in it, right? It was zoomed out so you could see more. So I think my, my, my point stands, but the game had a solution. I just think, why would you do it the other way ever? You know, why would it even give you the option? Um, it, should all, it should start zoomed out and you can zoom in, maybe. But... Or you should just st start zoomed out and not even give them a choice. I don't see why you would. But yeah, that was uh, that was cool in the end. But be your own game. You don't need to be hot like Miami, man. Um, you know, I know it's taking a lot of inspiration from it, but you can have a story that's different than that. Um, but that was cool in the end. Yeah. Obviously, some weird issues. I really do dislike sometimes. Sometimes the enemies would just, you know, know where you are and insta-kill you from anywhere. But that didn't feel as bad when it was zoomed out because I could see them and I could, you know, I, I can react fast enough. Whereas before the bullet would come in from off screen and it would instantly kill you from anywhere. So that just was awful. But um, no, you could react. So really the only issues were stuff like uh, sometimes it, you, you reload and then you shoot and it's like not shooting. And I'm like, didn't, didn't I just reload? Why, where are the bullets? And so, and um, when, when you shoot a guy and the bullets keep hitting the same guy, um, even way after they should have gone down or whatever. Also, the slowdown doesn't seem to really have too much of a use. It, it doesn't really do much. Maybe if you gave the player a little bit of a speed advantage because, you know, you're slowing down time, but you're not as slow kind of thing. Like, well, it's that it's that character's special ability to do that, actually. It's that, it's that lady character's special ability, like the robot one with a butt. Um, that she can move faster and slow down. I think that should just be a standard thing. Otherwise, slow down really doesn't do that much. Um, I mean, you, you're going to be able to dodge anyway or whatever, but I don't think it changes too much. But yeah, no, that was cool in the end. I, I take back what I was saying earlier on. I was complaining because it was stressful. It was very frustrating. But the zoom out really, I mean, really pretty much fixed a lot of that, a lot of that um, entirely. Still just a couple of little things, though, but I do like where it's going. Uh, that's Essie Prox. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you watched... All the way to the end, or at least halfway through, when I when I flip flopped back after I discovered that in the third third level, after really struggling to get through that second level, just like ugh, I didn't even want to keep playing. I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did. Looking forward to that one. That's Essie Prox. Essie, Essie or S Proxy, Proxy, not Prox. Bye.